welcome to Virtual Tarot, and we are reading for the year, our yearly bonus reel reading, as we have, you see, the 12 signs right here on my little lap, and we are reading for the 12 signs of Christmas, and I just want to have Libra right here, the very tippy top. There you are. <laughs> Libra, there's your reading. Hi! Woo! Boom! Okay. Oh, I always said the poor devil down. Uh, we are shuffling in the moment for you we right are. now. We are. And we'll see what this powerful moment brings for you. Here it is. Ooh. Ooh, don't look. <laughs> it's and as you can see, we're reading in heaven. Or from the clouds. From the clouds. And we're downloading data from the cloud. Did you notice some information floating by? I did. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. No so, secrets up here. We <laughs> are reading for each season. Four card spread, yes. beginning with the spring. Beginning with the spring. Moving into summer, fall, and winter. Hmm, Libra. And nine of wands reversed. Oh, okay. So the overall environment moving into the spring is trying to get this last. You got this thing going on, this project, you're, you're, which you've been working on for a while, probably could be last year. Business, it could yeah. be artistic, mm -hmm. it could be any kind of. Right. But right. it means a lot to you. Yeah, and Libras are usually working on projects. Generally. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It means a lot to you, and you've been building, 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 and you're almost there. You've almost figured it out. Well, you've built it, but um, this card came up. Previously, and it did. Uh, it's about it did for Pisces. It's, it's about it. the turn, the yeah, twist, the final key that opens the door that allows you to finish, to to actually cash in, cash in. That's it. Yeah, to cash in, and it will be during the spring that you figure that out. Mm -hmm. So that's what spring is all about for Libra. Right. Figuring that out, what that final key is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to be able to really make the project worthwhile. And to the, unlock the potential. The, uh, to unlock the potential of the project. Yep. Mm -hmm. and As your original vision. Uh, you had an original vision, so that's what you'll be working on this spring. Right. How to fulfill that vision. And ah. we have Ace of Swords. In going up to the summer. Ace of Swords in the upright. Very oh, nice. You're going to be very dynamic in the summer. Um, forceful. Uh, Single-minded. Um, and uh, you're, you'll be clear intellectually as to what you want and how to get there. So the spring has been a forerunner to this. Mm -hmm. So apparently in the spring you figured it out. Hmm. And now it's the summer and you go with oh, all wow. the force behind you, all the intellect, because you know now what to do. Ah, you see? It crystallizes. It crystallizes in the summer. Because in some decks, the uh, the swords are actually the crystals. Oh, that's true. And the crystals yeah. are, mm -hmm. are your pineal gland. Right, like this. Like this, which so might the spray ace up high. <laughs> is the introduction to the crystallization. Ah, I like that. In it the is. summertime. In the summertime. So ah, that's a victory too. And a huge victory and a huge amount of energy. Mm -hmm. And you feel real this this is um for for Libra, who is a sword, mm -hmm. who who navigates through life through his intellect. Or her intellect. Or her in uh -huh. oh, I mean that. She's logical. <laughs> She's logical. Intellectual. Analytical. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you're going to be in your element, and you're going to be very happy. Ooh, I summer. like that. Yeah. Ooh, that's great. Mm -hmm. All right, Libra. All right, Libra. <laughs> okay, and then moving into the fall, which is usually our pivotal point, mm -hmm. uh, we have the chariot inverted, um, which I always think of a car breaking down on the side of the road. <laughs> so a, perhaps metaphor. maybe you have... Uh, this idea, this crystallization has gotten you uh, in the summertime to the point of, we'll see, we're going to read the whole thing, but, of um, you know, maybe too much work, uh, taking care of your health, oh, yes. 
uh, not um, staying in balance, which is not like Libra at all. No. No, um, well, they're always seeking balance. Yes. But they always, they seek it because they don't have it. <laughs> so, <laughs> honestly, yeah. that's their motivation yeah. towards fairness, towards harmony yeah. and balance, yeah. is because they always feel somehow a little bit out of balance. Yeah, so, so maybe it's like just making sure that you're not so caught up in your idea and that key to unlocking things, that you're allowing things which are um, more on the mundane level to break down around you. Yeah. So perhaps you should take your car in and have the oil changed. Yes. <laughs> or it could mean that um, if you're uh, attempting to travel uh, in the, in the uh, fall, that those will be thwarted in some way or it, mm -hmm. it made more difficult for yeah. you. Not, not so much travel in the fall. But so much. also, you know, things breaking down. Things breaking down. So equipment. Mm -hmm. um, Back up your hard drive in the fall. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, don't get so caught up in the esoteric that you forget about the mundane. That's kind of what I right, say here. Right, right. And, and ambition to to put that to rest for a little while, mm -hmm. that's also because it's it's outright ambition. And so maybe the summer is, has, uh, uh, the, the candle was burning too bright mm -hmm. and it is has exhausted the fuel yeah, yeah. for recharge recharge yeah. mm -hmm. in the fall. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, oh and God. the last card in uh, the position of winter, which is really great. Really great. Yeah, Nine of Swords, which, it, you know, if you see this card, you think, wow, that's not so great. This, this woman has all of these swords hanging over her head, which, you know, basically this is the up all night pace on the floor, um, sick to your stomach because you're worried kind of card. But in the inverse, it's really much better, um, which, you know, basically, uh, you know, you're starting to get a handle on some of this stress, and it looks like there's a lot of stress involved in um, well, whatever is. the projects are, whatever the, the um, you know, the new business, the new, uh, you know, artistic endeavor, the yes. new, you know, this is all about Libras tend to worry. Creating too. things. They do, they're worry wars. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they, they're perfectionists. They want everything to be out. Their relationships, yep. everything needs to right. be perfect. Right. But it's reversed. It's reversed. Yeah. Which means that um, now you realize there was nothing to worry about. Right. Right. That it was all in your head. And it comes around in the winter. Yes. Yeah, so finally. Uh huh. You. Well, it, she's in bed. Yeah. So finally, you get a respite mm -hmm. from from your constant worry. Yeah. Yeah. And that's so, a wonderful way to end the year. Right. So don't worry because there's reason in winter, I think, you know, it's like there's no need to worry. There's no need to worry. Those, okay. So pace yourself. I suppose that the fall could have caused a little worry because it was ambition not reaching its goal as quickly mm -hmm. as you had anticipated. Right. And so it po probably caused you some angst. Right. And so that's resolved. But this doesn't, t doesn't this kind of feel like, wow, you know, in summer, the summer is when this... The summer is your time. Yeah, you're going to really move forward, but yeah. pace yourself. Right, pace yourself. Because come fall, you may feel a little burnt out yeah. if you don't pace yourself. Um, and put a journal next to your bedside, I would say, this year. Uh, this is a good time to purchase a journal for a Libra. Oh, yes. <laughs> and let uh, that Libra, if you have any concerns or worries, Libras, write them down. Allow yourself to get some rest because um, you got to pace yourself. Okay. And uh, it's going to be a good year for Libra. Yes. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to unlock that key. And you're going to find balance. Which yes. Is what you've always wanted. <laughs> yes, you will. You will. Yeah. And it's going to be a great year. So tune in next month because we'll be back reading for the month. And uh, also we're going to uh, do some really cool things next year. So you won't oh, want to yeah. miss out. Very, very cool things. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah. I hope you come back. Yeah. Thank Ava you. and Trudy. Ava and Trudy. Signing <laughs> out. Bye-bye. Bye, Libra. Thank you.